Ag amazing. This is Serbas of Serbas TV. In our last video, we learned the two imaginary lines that can be found on a map or a globe. We are going to use these concepts in learning our new lesson, which is all about locating places on Earth using coordinate system. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AgAmazing. Let's go! The longitude and latitude on a map or a globe are very useful in locating places. The system that is used to locate places using the degrees of latitude and longitude is called geographic coordinate system. It uses the equator as the reference point for latitude and the prime meridian as reference point for longitude. To locate a place, we need to know the coordinates of the point through which the latitude and longitude intersects. Coordinates are a pair of numbers that describes the position of a point. In this lesson, the coordinates of a place are represented by its degrees of latitude and longitude. An example of a coordinate is 30 degrees south and 60 degrees west. In this example, 30 degrees south is the latitude and 60 degrees west is the longitude. How can we use this information in finding what place is located on these coordinates? Our main goal is to find the point where these coordinates will intersect. Their point of intersection is the place that these coordinates represent. Always take note the place of the equator and the prime meridian. Likewise, the northern and southern hemisphere and the western and eastern hemisphere. This will guide you in locating the coordinates. The first step that we need to do is to find the location of the latitude. To find this, we need to specify in which hemisphere is it located. In this case, we have 30 degrees south, therefore we are going to locate it below the equator. Next, we need to determine the value of the latitude. In this case, it is 30 degrees. Therefore, the location of the latitude is in this point. From this point, we will draw a horizontal line. The next step is to find the location of the longitude. Again, we need to specify the hemisphere it is located. The given longitude is 60 degrees west, therefore we are going to locate it on the left side of the prime meridian. Next, we need to determine the value of the longitude. In this case, it is 60 degrees. Therefore, the location of the longitude is in this point. From this point, we will draw a vertical line. The point where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect is the place that we are looking. Can you identify the country where the line intersects? Correct! The country that is located on the coordinates 30 degrees south and 60 degrees west is Argentina. Let us have another example. Which country is located on 13 degrees north and 122 degrees is. The first step is to find the location of the latitude, which is 13 degrees north. In this case, here is the location of 13 degrees north. Then, we will draw a horizontal line to serve as guide. The second step is to find the longitude, which is 122 degrees is. In this case, here is the location of 122 degrees is. Then, we will draw a vertical line to serve as guide. The third step is to find the point of intersection of the latitude and longitude lines. In this case, the point lies on the Philippines. Therefore, Philippines is approximately located on 13 degrees north and 122 degrees east of this map. Let us have another example. In this case, the country is given and your task is to find the coordinates. The country is Canada. What is its approximate coordinates? Look at the map. Your first step is to find the country. In this case, here is the location of Canada. 
The second step is to draw a horizontal line from this point. The degrees latitude where the horizontal line will lie will serve as the latitude coordinate of this place. In this case, we have 60 degrees north. It is north since Canada is located on the northern hemisphere and above the equator. The third step is to draw a vertical line to the point where Canada is located. The degrees longitude where the vertical line will lie will serve as the longitude coordinate of this place. In this case, we have 105 degrees west. It is west since Canada is located on the western hemisphere of the map. For our last example, let us find the latitude and longitude coordinates of point number 2. To get the latitude coordinate, we need to draw a horizontal line on the point. In this case, we have 45 degrees north. For the longitude coordinate, we need to draw a vertical line on the point. Hence, the coordinate is 15 degrees east. And those are the steps that we need to follow in finding places on Earth using geographic coordinate system. Aside from land masses, you can also find bodies of water using the geographic coordinate system. In our next lesson, we are going to find the location of the Philippines using land masses and bodies of water that surrounds it. See you on our next science lesson. Agamazing!